Hey guys, this is Paul, aka Snapper TRX, um, coming to you the day after Father's Day. I just want to do a quick little review on this little double action targets self healing polymer color changing reactive target, which sounds like a lot of words and it is, but uh, basically, I bought this a few weeks ago. Took it to the range. They said they wouldn't let me use it because it hangs. And the uh, county range around here has uh, cardboard targets you put up between a couple of 2 by 4s and shoot at. They didn't like the fact that it was hanging, so they told me uh, they didn't want to let me use it. But I took it over there again today to test out my new pistol. And I just asked them, look, this is what it is. Nobody really took a look at it last time. Can you uh, just take a look and let me know? If you think I can shoot this thing if I put it in front of a cardboard backer. And they said I could. So I went ahead and did that. And uh, as you can see, it worked out pretty well. Now the way this thing works is when you shoot it, obviously, it punches holes in the thing. And where you hit the target changes color. So this is kind of a reddish black kind of polymer where you strike it with the round or, or where you shoot it ends up being uh, like a bright yellow color and it worked pretty well uh, the only complaint I have is when you purchase these things they ask you to select a temperature range and I picked the highest temperature range and for Florida it's just not it's still not a high enough temperature range. Um, as I hit the target it would change color. It would not change back. And what I actually had to do, and it's not really a, a big deal, I could do this um, while I'm out shooting this at the range. What I had to do was get some cold water and when the range went cold so we could go out and deal with our targets, I would just pick this thing up off the cardboard backer so I wouldn't get the cardboard all wet and just pour water on the front and back that would return it to its color, the darker color, and pretty much like reset the target. Now, I think um, you can see these smaller holes like right here, and then these larger ones. So I think these smaller holes are from my my Keltec P17 that I was shooting round nose 22 LR from. The bigger holes. I believe are from my PMR 30. Now that one, they don't recommend you use hollow points or flat tip, flat nose bullets with um, with these targets. But it was all I had. Uh, the PMR 30, they recommend CCI uh, Maxi Mag rounds, which are hollow points. I think. I think. Now that I'm saying it, I don't remember, but I think they are hollow points. And I think that's what these larger ones are. Um, I think hollow points probably tear out too much of the polymer when it hits the target. And so it, it kind of loses its healing ability probably faster than if you just hit it with round nose bullets. Now, this thing was 25 bucks plus shipping. I am going to get more than a couple of range days out of it. Um, the paper or sticky targets that you can buy, the, the color changing reactive ones where you can see where you shot are, I want to say six bucks for three, a three pack at Walmart. Um, and those are six inch, I think they're six inch targets as well, similar to this one. So I think I'm going to get my money's worth out of this. I will write the company or email the company and ask them, you know, if they if they have any ideas or any plan to maybe release a target that has a higher temperature rating. Because for places like out here in Florida, and I'm sure if you're back in hotter places like Arizona or Nevada or something, these aren't going to be really viable um, in the summertime. Now, you can still shoot them, sure. And you're probably going to be able to see where you're hitting them for a little while, but with the temperatures as high as they are, they're they're not going to go back to their their normal color um, without you having to walk out there and, and do like I did, you know, pour some cold water 
and uh it w it wasn't even just like cold you know like out of a water bottle cold water they had a actual water cooler um at the range and i had to get cold cold water from that to get this to change you can see it's already it's changing a little bit just from me holding it and i'm in my house in the air conditioning so um i would definitely recommend these this is a six inch gong target they have a four inch and then they have some knockdown style targets and uh you know I'm, I'm not a sponsor for these guys or anything i just think this is really cool um, instead of having to go put up new paper targets every time the range goes cold out there, uh, I can just leave this up and just shoot it over and over again. So the website is www.d, as in dog, a-targets.com. And uh, if you're someone who likes to shoot and doesn't like to have to keep going back and covering up your paper targets with uh, stickers and all that, this might be pretty useful. I think I mentioned before, it was about 25 bucks for this larger gong, uh, six inch gong. So anyway, uh, that's all I got for now. I'm probably gonna do like a little mini review on the two Keltec pistols that I bought this past month. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.